Hi everyone, this is Alice K. Ruckelhaus, and I'm here with a craft table chat. That's what I'm calling these things while I'm working on crafts and just chatting with you. Um, and um, I'm going to continue with a previous video. I actually already recorded this, but it won't upload. So I'm going to re-record it and hopefully hit all the salient points. But I also thought I would mention... Um, the reason that I'm doing these at my craft table, I'm not doing craft with me's, so I'm not really explaining what I'm doing craft wise, but I just wanted to differentiate from the videos where I'm like teaching the Bible and stuff. Cause these are different. These are, I'm sharing with you my struggles and I'll share with you in a minute, a little bit more about why I'm doing that. And I shared about that in a previous video as well, but I'm sharing with you my struggles and um, I'm not perfect in how I deal with those, you know, just like you probably, um, things hit me and I have to deal with them and I don't know how. And so I just kind of meddle along and, you know, maybe I think that I'm dealing with it well, but it turns out that I'm not or something. And so I'm letting you in on my process for good or for bad. <laughs> and, um, and so, you know, I really want you to see these videos as different from the teaching videos because I might not be dealing with them well, <laughs> but there's a reason why I want you to see that. Okay. So I shared some of my reasons in the previous video that you can find, but, um, I wanted to continue sharing because in that video, um, I stopped because my camera has a tendency to turn off unexplainedly after about 11 minutes. And so I will be jumping up every once in a while just to check and see if this is still running even. Um, but if you're looking for a craft with me, this is not it because I'm not going to explain what I'm doing craft wise. Um, it's just what I'm doing while I talk to you is if you're sitting here with me and maybe you're working on crafts too. And, uh, I'll just work on different journals while I'm doing that. And I'm looking for my looking for my, here we go, my stencil. Okay, so anyway, so another reason, like I said, I started in the previous video that you can see. Um, another reason why I'm sharing these things with you is because um, I think it's important to, for you to know that there are other people out there who struggle. You know, if you're going through struggles, a lot of times it can seem like you're completely alone and like no one understands and no one else has ever gone through the same thing. And honestly, I think Satan wants us to feel that way because, um, you know, divide and conquer, you know, if he can make us feel like we're alone, then we don't bear one another's burdens, which is, you know, one of the things that God wants us to be doing. And, um, and we don't get the help that we need. So we don't grow. And so I'm hoping that by letting you see how I struggle, that you'll know that you're not alone. And, you know, I may not be the person for you to talk to. I might be, but I might not be. But if you know that I also struggle, then you'll know that there are other people who struggle as well. And, um, you know, maybe one of those is the person that you should be talking to. Um, but it's really, really important when we're struggling and we all have struggles. Don't let anybody fool you into thinking that they don't because we all do. If they don't, then I don't know. There's something wrong. <laughs> Struggle is part of life. You know what? That's another thing I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but that's another thing that I learned just, you know, in the last few years is that life isn't supposed to be easy. You know, it's like I kept thinking that, Oh, when I'm through this horrible thing, you know, life is just going to be easy after that. Nope, it's not. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a pessimistic, fatalistic way or anything. I mean it because life is designed for us to grow and we grow through our trials. And so it is important that we go through struggles. It's not, it's not a sign of weakness on your part. It's not a sign of failure. It's a sign that God wants you to grow um, as he wants all of us to grow. And it's a sign that he loves you, that he allows you to go through those struggles. Um, I'm not saying that he causes them, 
But you know what? He could stop any one of those things from happening to us, and he chooses not to. Sometimes he chooses to stop things from happening, but quite often he chooses not to because we need those struggles to become stronger. And we'll talk more about that a different time, but right now I'm talking about why, um, why I'm sharing this stuff. And another reason why I'm sharing all this is because I'm hoping that if you see how I struggle, that you'll think twice before hurting other people, teachers, leaders, and other people that you see who are out there publicly teaching or otherwise doing, you know, God's work, which I'm sure you're doing God's work in some way too, I hope. Um, because we tend to think that people who are putting themselves out there publicly, whether it's in a church or on YouTube or on the radio or whatever, or I guess it would be iPod or I, I casts or whatever. I, I don't know those things. Sorry. Um, we tend to think that in some way they're not real and, um, and people, and you know what? I think Christians are the worst about this can be so critical and mean and you can really really damage a person and you know you might have a valid critique or a valid um, criticism but stop and really think about whether it's necessary for you to confront that person and if it is then do it in kindness and love and maybe with some positive encouragement too uh, not maybe it needs to have positive encouragement too um, because honestly, if you don't also positively encourage them, you're wasting your time because we get defensive when somebody criticizes us, right? Is, don't you get defensive when people criticize you? And so if you criticize someone who's just like really putting themselves out there and trying to help you and others, what happens? You know, unless they're really, really strong and they have an absolutely amazing support team, they get discouraged. And they stop and not only is that really sad but honestly I think that the people who discourage people like that are gonna be held accountable and you don't want that to be you <laughs> but you know I've seen especially let me let me just talk about pastors here for a bit I've been really hurt by some pastors I'm not gonna say that they're perfect but they are human and just like I've probably hurt some people um, you know but the thing is that they're human and if we criticize them so much, you know, like I see people, oh my gosh, one church that I went to, the pastor got so much criticism if he'd go like five minutes over in the length of his sermon, you know, because the ladies were all upset because they had roast in the oven. Well, don't have roast for dinner on Sunday, I don't know, or set it for later, you know, but it's like if the pastor goes over, it's because he has something important to say that God's put on his heart that you probably need to hear. And, um, you know, criticism like that, it just, it, it builds up to the point where I've seen pastors quit their ministries because of all the criticism that they get. And so the gifts that God's given them are not being used. Um, the things that probably could have really helped those people who were so critical, um, they're not getting it. There's, and like I said, you know, I really believe that those people are going to be held accountable and it's not going to be pretty. So, like I said, you don't want that to be you. So I'm sharing part of my struggles just so that you can kind of see that those of us who teach or whatever, we're real people. We're just, we're not any better than you. We're not any stronger than you or more righteous or anything like that. We're just normal people. It's just that this is the particular calling that we have and the gifting that God gave us. And, um, you know, we're not perfect. One of the things that I often say is no one's perfect but God and no book is perfect but the Bible. So I can guarantee you I am going to say something wrong at some point. I'm not trying to mislead you, but I'm human. I'm not God. And my books are going to have imperfect things too, even though I really, really try. I pray, I study, you know, everything else, and I really, really try to make those accurate and very biblical 
and everything. But you know, I'm going to fail in that because I'm not perfect. I'm not God. And my books are not the Bible. It was the same thing with your pastor. You know, you really need to be encouraging him and her, not discouraging them. That's just like really, really important. Okay, let me check and make sure that the camera is still running. I don't mean this to be a lecture, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so it's been... I think it's been 11 minutes. No, it, yeah, I, it might have been 11 minutes. So I'm going to stop this and start a new one.